Welcome back to 2022, question B1. So this is our perspective question. The image on the right shows a horse box uh, coffee dock. Figure B2, so here's our figure B2, shows the plan and elevation of our co coffee dock uh, based on this image. The, uh, sorry, the pictorial view of the coffee dock is also shown. So here's our pictorial view. Surfaces B and C are inclined at 25 degrees. So this surface C and this surface B, they are telling us, are inclined 25 degrees. So being a perspective question, we'll probably, or we will, need to use auxiliary vanishing points for both of those surfaces. So first off now, they want us to draw the given plan. All right, so here's our plan view. They just are requiring us to reproduce it. Okay, uh, and we've got scale of 1 is to 100. So all our measurements here are tw uh, 2 meters are going to end up being 20 millimeters, 40 millimeters, 20, 40, 40, 15, and 10. Okay, and our heights are getting there to us in the elevation we might need then later. Uh, so spectator is down this direction, so I'm actually going to draw all of this up towards the top right of the sheet. Yeah, so essentially something like that. Project down and I'll have my perspective view down the bottom right. So, uh, let's go with top edge. the overall length there in plan, so that's where our elevation is there, it's 50, 50 and 35, 50, 50, 35, okay. we'll mark off those overall distances, 50, 50, 35, that's the grid to draw, our plan view, Get those measurements down the bottom. So I've got 15, 10, plan view and I've got that completed. So, sorry. so I've got draw the plan view done. Make a perspective drawing of the coffee dock given the following. A spectator at point S and it is 16 away from point A. So actually A, I need to find that. Up here. Here's point A. Sixty degrees. 
night. And the telling of it is 16 away. Let's try to fit this on the page and let's see. Okay, so that's S, my spectator. picture plane is touching A, so great, my picture plane will be there, and it will just need to find it, the horizon line is 7 above the ground level, so <coughs> join my outside points of my object back to the spectator, I'm going to bisect that angle, Picture plane is going to be going through point A. It's going to be at 90 degrees. Let's slide this up. 90 degrees to that bisector. So that is plan view of my picture plane. So plan of P. is we're going to find auxiliary, or sorry, we're going to find our vanishing points. Right, so first one, we're going to go parallel to our edge, and parallel to our edge, so we actually have to extend this. so that uh, everything is going to be in line with my picture plan. So that quick pause has allowed me to um, line up or turn my sheet, line it up in my plan view of the picture plane and uh, also just because I'm really, I've got an A3 sheet I've managed to just take down a large sheet so it does require a large sheet to do this um, A3 won't do, you'll need an A2 sheet. So, let me project down the position of my vanishing points. Okay, and back to the question is said, the horizon line is 77 meters or 70 millimeters above the ground line. So just come down and allow enough space between both of those. That's my ground line. Set up of my question done. 
Um, now we need two start projecting points, projecting lines back. Now I'll deal with all of the objects except for surface B and C because they need an auxiliary. Um, so I'll deal with the basic shape of it first of all. Um, well my object isn't exactly on point A, so I'm going to use that as a reference line for heights. So I'll bring down A and take heights on that and I'll be able to use that to vanish back the heights that we have in this um, in this elevation. So point A project this down. That's A there. And the heights then we have we've got the bottom section here is twenty-eight. I've got thirty-two of that, which is sixty. And then another 10 millimeters above that, so that's actually on our horizon now. Okay, so we're going to use those heights uh, to vanish back the basic shape. <coughs> I'm just going to push this up so it's in the middle of your screen for now. So vanish back to if you want. Heights on that side, but right there now. It's a base ground line. Open hatch there, and that's the top edge. Okay, so that's going to contain that front surface. Um, and then our other surface here is going there and then we'll be able to join up the bits between them. So let's bring down this edge and this edge initially. Um, yeah, those two edges initially just to get that surface and we'll bring down the outside edge as well. So just the basic shape. Join. I've got the back edge joined back. This for to that spectator that edge. That's all I just brought down. And now I can direct where they hit the picture plane, project them down into the picture plane. That line there. They are at that height of 70, so I'm able to draw them in heavy. Bring that into the picture frame. Down. And that surface there. Okay. Draw. Actually, all around the top there, maybe. This is and it just so happens. And join this to this edge. And heavy in the baseline here. Heavy in the baseline here. That's my pitch plane. Okay. So that's those first couple of surfaces. Alright, so I got here, here. And the whole entire surface, as if it was just you know closed up uh, horse box, right? And I actually have this line that I can put in because I have it vanishing back to our height that was ten, and I can vanish this one back to show the split there between the I suppose the open and that little shelf that's on it. So. We 
the edge there, and that's where the shaft is going to be coming out. All right, and I suppose now with that one, there's two last little bits we can do. We can locate the split there between uh, this the opening and the flat surface of the horse box. So that is done by bringing a corresponding point there at the split back to our spectator where it hits the picture plane. Project that down, so that's going to be there somewhere. There. And then I also have this shelf coming out. Alright, so that's where it hits the picture plane. I just need to frame forward. Another point where it's the picture plane, that is the height of it because it's at that height, which is 28, which we measured. So I can actually vanish that forward. So I'll just bring the projection of it down or the position of it down from my plan. that forward so check that bench forward so forward that surface running back there and there but there isn't a height to tell me the height I need to measure on my height plan so I'm going to move on and find my vanishing point my auxiliary vanishing point for C and B and maybe that will give me that point there which I can join back so auxiliary vanishing point um, I need to measure 25 degrees now it's either going to be measured off of this line from the spectator to the VP2 or VP1. Okay, If we do it from this side, looking at this angle, you won't actually see the angle of 25 degrees. Okay? If you're standing here, looking at a horse box, okay, you just see the slope and surface moving away from you. Whereas if you're standing on and this side, looking in, you would see the angle of 25 degrees made there. So we have to do it on this side. Okay, so 25 degrees, get my protractor, and measure 10, 20, 30, 5. Draw that angle up. I'm going to use color just to highlight this for you. Imagine we're creating a triangle, so it's going to be a right angle triangle rotating down, so it's going to be a 90 degree angle. So sliding set squares to create this 90 degree angle. Okay, so this height h. Is the distance I need to measure off from VP1 to find my auxiliary, so stepping off from VP1. So that is the position of my. 
auxiliary VP. So we're going to use that to find the uh, sloping surface C and B. So I'm going to bring this is my surface C. I like these, use my color, so this is B. And this is C, both inclined at 25 degrees. So let's project them down, the edges of those onto our spectator onto our spectator through the picture plane and the same has been done there and the same has been done there okay so now I can project where they hit the picture plane down picture plane down it has already been done for the other surfaces so now let's vanish them back to the auxiliary 25 degree auxiliary vanishing point. So, shut that down and let's follow oh, that one edge. Let's bring back these two edges actually. So, as you can see, this edge here. So, where they hit the picture plane. Them down also, because they will find the top of the rush box. So back to our vanishing points. So, auxiliary vanished back. Here's the top coming down that we just found. Where it hits the spectator, so here it comes down. So that is going to be the top of my horse box. And also here. And that's coming down there. Yeah. So vanish those back, they should be in line with each other. And they are great. They are horizontal lines at the top. That's the top of my horse box. Okay, I'll finish off the edges. And then I have to do so that's B, I have to do C, so that's coming from here, auxiliary vanish point, vanish back, and here's point C, where it hits the picture plane, drop down, so that, the front edge, and repeat that again here, vanish forward, so C, edge to there, and vanish that, back to VP2, the edge. That's my B. Highlight them. The sloping surfaces we talked about. C and B. All right, and then like I said, to finish it off, we can just because we found that point. That is a shared point. If you look at here, that's the point we're out to find. That is a shared point for those surfaces. So let's just join them up. Just to double check, let's check our pictorial view. Um, so we've got these surfaces, C and B, that surface, tick, tick, tick. Oh, and I'm just actually spotting inside my horse box. Hold that up to the camera. Let's see, we've got that edge. So always check your perspective view. So that's representing the very back edge. So let's bring that back to the spectator. Where it hits the picture plane, that's it hitting the picture plane. We project that vertically down to the inside of the horse box. I forgot to go over here on this edge. So, it's all important to check that 
put, uh, that 3D view at the end, just in case, like some years they might be awarding marks for it, other years they might, but it's important just to try and include it if you can. So that's the solution there to 2022 B1.